Hello, this is Dr. Fujan Zain, and this is the tip of the week. We're going to talk about lies and secrets today. There are so many lies that we must deal with all day. The lies we tell ourselves, the lies we tell others, being lied to by our family, at work, in social media, media, society, companies, and politicians. So what's considered lying? Well, an inter... When, Miriam with Webster says, an intentionally false statement is used regarding a situation involving deception or founded on a mistaken impression. An assertion of something known or believed by the speaker or writer to be untrue with intent to deceive um, or an untrue or inaccurate statement that may or may not be considered true by the speaker or the writer. So why do we lie? People lie to protect themselves from getting harmed, being judged, not getting punished, and avoiding consequences for something done intentionally or intentionally or honest mistake. People lie to gain the reward they are pursuing such as exaggerating their experience and talents in interviews for work or on a date. They might lie to gain others' admiration and validation in their community or stop being embarrassed in front of a community for something they have done that makes them feel ashamed. Some lie to protect others, for them not to feel bad, such as, you know, eating at somebody's house and they've cooked for so long and you're telling them it was great even though you really didn't like it. People may need to hold a spouse, friend, or colleague's privacy and lie about matters to protect them. Most people lie to hold on to career oppositions, marriages, jobs, and control over others. Lying can become a habit or a pathology when repeated so often that it becomes the first go-to way of information giving. Usually, when someone has repeatedly learned that who they are is not safe to be revealed, they create a persona to deliver all they intend and desire. It's a hard job to keep that persona going. Therefore, a web of lies is consistently manufactured to keep the game going. Withholding information relevant to others in decision-making about life can also be considered intentional and part of any of what I just said as far as reasoning for lying. And then what's secrecy? Now, Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines it as the condition of being hidden or concealed, the habit of practice of keeping secrets or maintaining privacy or concealment. Secrets are also intentional withholding of personal information. The difference is that withholding information from a particular person or in a specific situation can also be considered a lie. In contrast, if a person holds information from all or most people, it can be generalized privacy issues and then they're accompanied by guilt and shame. So if you're holding a secret, you're probably holding some shame with it. Most common secrets are about having an emotional or physical affair, sexual orientation, romantic desires, an embarrassing incident, sexual fetishes or fantasies, financial situation, financial wealth, financial plans or financial debt, illnesses in their life or in their family history, self-harming acts or harming other um, thought process, or if they have done it before, addiction, um, an illegal act such as stealing or embezzling money, childhood trauma such as sexual abuse, um, past intimate relationships, or intruding upon other, another person's privacy, such as kind of like checking their phone or private property, closets, wherever they are, um, ambition or future goals in achieving fitness, career, finances, or relations in fear of jealousy or envy, or even failure. They don't want to tell people what they're going to do in, in case they fail. So what's the harm? What a little lying, a bit of holding secret. 
there's a lot of harm in holding high levels of anxiety and stress to be found out at any moment. Psychologically, it's very damaging. A person who lies um, or holds secrets will end up having very low self-esteem since their feeling of shame and anxiety will eat at their core. They don't allow themselves to be out, to be their authentic self, to shine as who they are. They consistently feel like an imposter in their own privacy. They might begin hating themselves for the prison they've created. When others get close to them, their anxiety turns into panic. It's a hard for them. It's really hard for them to be close to anyone. Therefore, it affects them, their intimate relationship and marriages significantly. When people take the opportunity to share or consult with others um, from themselves, they are more apt to make mistakes repeatedly, which diminishes their self-esteem and confidence more and more. People tend to ruminate about an ugly self-narrative that keeps them isolated from others, feeling lonely, even when they're among others or in the marriage. Since they must hold a part of themselves away from being revealed, they project others to be the same way. Most people who keep secrets and lie accuse others of doing the same. Since they have broken trust with everyone around them, they don't trust people around them. If the reason for lying and secrecy is immoral, the energy spent to hold the secret, to justify, to watch, for never being found out, and the thrill to continue becomes a full-time inner job with detrimental physical and psychological stress. So what's the solution? I'll tell you. The assessment and identification of the reasons that you lie, withhold or keep a secret is the first task. On the immoral ground, stopping current and future issues and acts helps to foster a game plan, which will give you the gain for the future in a more acceptable ethical and legal means is a must. Cleaning up with the past, acknowledging the responsibility for the damage they caused, repenting, request for forgiveness from others, uh, are all the steps to release the guilt and anxiety and therefore to path to self-forgiveness. On fear of being judged by others, accepting oneself as is, or learning to do the appropriate and acceptable act in the society are the keys to overcoming it. When the withholding is due to foundational matters such as their somebody's family origin, heritage, sexual orientation, gender identity, etc. then accepting the self becomes the first step to gaining self-esteem and self-confidence to join others of the same tribe. The person can take a stand for who they are as is. If they feel shame because others gave them comments about their behavior, then it's an essential to learn appropriate skills to fit in the society they're in. If they're withholding family secrets, then share the boundaries with people in the family and hold a privacy boundary with people who are outside of the family, which this information is irrelevant to them. If someone is keeping their illness or addiction secret, they need to get help for treatment, learn about their condition, manage their symptoms, and talk to relevant people around which this illness might affect them, such as maybe their mates, their marriage, somebody they want to marry, or somebody's going to take care of them. Some matters, such as sexual fantasies, desires, past intimate relationships, may be appropriate to just hold privately with no shame or guilt when it doesn't affect the present relationships. Let's make it clear. If you're doing something that you feel ashamed and embarrassed about and don't want it to be revealed, don't do it. Since someday, by someone, it will be revealed, or you will go through your daily hell of an anxiety imprisonment. If you're holding back who you are, become powerfully authentic and self-loving and accepting. And now that you will find the group to love you and accept you as is. Decide only to do the act you're proud to be seen doing. And if you make a mistake, acknowledge 
take responsibility, clean up, and ask for forgiveness from whomever you've harmed. Forgive yourself and learn from it for next time. Learn how to hold personal boundaries for your information and other people's information without anxiety, shame, and guilt, where it's appropriate not to reveal unnecessary information. And for more observational and assessment skills and integration, please get my book, Life Reset, the Awareness Integration Path to the Life You Want from Amazon. Thank you for listening. Thank you.